totally and uh, totally agree with you there david i mean there's so much tension here in the position um as what? wesley is just probably going to build up and keep maintaining his but this was i was wondering but i didn't think it was possible to well, break out move wow yeah uh wesley calculating extremely well there um, it looks like he did give up a pawn temporarily. Black's weak pawn has actually just dropped off the board, but the knights have disappeared at Whoa. the same time. And, um, oh, look at Magnus. He realizes this is a blunder. What's happening? Well, Total Magnus blunder. has blundered his queen. It took me a while to spot as well. That was visually very difficult to spot, but. Oh, no. He is extremely angry. Is this lost now? Yeah, yes. that's lost. And Magnus just didn't have enough time. That's an uncharacteristic blunder. He blundered his queen because he didn't keep the white king safe on the back rank. We'll show that later on, but. Right now, black is up, a queen for just a rook. Wesley So is about to guide this to a win. And Magnus, we saw it on his face, right? I mean, yeah. we was... never see him blunder like that, like that. No, but it was a very neat tactical shot. I um, didn't come naturally. And, uh, well, there you oh, can no. see here, world champion is just furious with himself. There's just nothing to do here. I mean, just one rook is totally insufficient against the black queen. Yeah. And... Uh, the Black Queen passive for now, but over the next few moves, she's going to get active. Yeah, I mean, she has. She's going to overwhelm the white rooks. There's a big threat right now that you can just take the pawn. And, uh, well, Wesley playing super safe. He doesn't give Magnus any chances whatsoever. And there's nothing that the white rooks can do. Yeah, white rooks are stuck passive defending one of their own pawns. Magnus, he's just going to hope that Wesley maybe panics under time pressure. But look at that. The queens are so versatile, so agile. Black's queen, she retreats, she steps back, but she attacks a pawn in the middle, attacks a pawn in the centre. And Wesley can just take a pawn with his queen if he wants right now. Yeah. No real risk in this position for Wesley. So, yeah, this one is it's almost game over. But the clock is the only thing that could turn this around for Magnus right now, retreating his rooks. And at least he has one pawn alive on that left side. Maybe in a dream world, uh, Magnus can push that pawn forward and cause some nuisance. Uh, Magnus, but Wesley says no. He's going to go for the counterattack. And yeah, I mean, what we're going to see now is the rook and the queen aligned together to create. And now you can just simply go rook takes pawn. Or is that not working? There are some tricks in the position. I think Wesley can just play Rook Takes Pawn right now. Mm -hmm. Magnus, he's getting ready to resign. Wesley finishing this one off with a nice trick. And we'll just see a set of Rook trades. Black will stop White's Pawn. Magnus, he's getting ready to resign now. Black's Queen stopping White's Pawn. That's the last glimmer of hope. No more counterplay for White. Is he just going to let his time run out? Magnus Carlsen so, so angry. It's very difficult to pull the trigger and just say, I'm going to resign. Um... Because yeah. that makes life so much difficult. He knows a task in hand now is to win on demand with the black pieces. And there you go. We have a result. Wow. The drama of the final in the FDX Crypto Cup. Magnus Carlsen with the white pieces in the first blitz game. Losing to Wesley So. He now has to win the next one to take this to Armageddon. If Wesley So with the white pieces is able to just get a draw or win, he will be the winner of the FTX Crypto Cup for the third time winning a final against Magnus Carlsen. I mean, we